Prosecutors say this woman, Clarissa Figueroa, showed up to Christ Medical Center on April 23rd with a gravely ill, brain damaged infant and claimed to be the child's mother. Staff at Christ Medical Center examined the 46 year old, but she showed no signs consistent with a woman who just delivered a baby. You have a brain damaged newborn on the one hand, and a woman who claims to have given birth to that newborn, but has proven not to have given birth and that that wouldn't set off a series of alarm bells. Lance Northcutt is an attorney who has a long history with child abuse cases, and he was shocked to learn that despite the suspicious circumstances, DCFS didn't get a call. Neither did Oak Lawn Police or investigators in Chicago. The baby turned out to be the child of a missing woman, Marlon Ochoa, and police say he was taken from his mother's womb after Figueroa killed her. The failure of the people who were there that night to engage with DCFS and authorities is really inexplicable. DCFS eventually got a call, but not for more than two weeks. Julia Stralo is the Director of Education Prevention and Policy with the Chicago Children's Advocacy Center. While she can't comment specifically on this case, she's well versed in Illinois' reporting requirements for medical professionals. We want people to report suspicions. We don't want people to be worried about their own liability because we're talking about the life of a child. Stralo says they urge mandated reporters to err on the side of caution, but some reporters surprisingly may not know any better. The Abused and Neglected Child Reporting Act currently does not require them to receive any training about what it means to be a mandated reporter in Illinois. That's why there's currently legislation, Senate Bill 1778, making its way through the House that would change that. Meanwhile, the Illinois Department of Public Health confirmed to me today that they're conducting an investigation at Christ. If evidence is found that the hospital failed to report a concern, it could be cited with a violation. Chicago Children's Advocacy Center is hopeful that a bill requiring training for mandated reporters could be signed into law as early as next week. We reached out to Christ Medical Center and asked about their training requirements. A spokesperson said they cannot comment. In the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 News.